I'm from the southern Oregon coast, a place called Brookings, a blue-collar town uh, with mostly uh, loggers and fishermen. How a lot of my waves that I paint look. I don't always <clears throat> paint picture-perfect waves. Uh, I like waves with a little bit more character and flaws. Um, but in that, there's a really innate beauty that makes them more interesting to look at as an art piece to me. I, <clears throat> I think in around, it was around uh, sixth or seventh grade, uh, that's when the TNC Surf Design shirts started becoming really popular with, you know, Joe Cool, Thriller Gorilla, the Wave Warriors guys, and um, pr the Primal Urges uh, caveman guy. I think that was Steve Nazar. I think that's how you say his name. Then later I discovered Rick Griffin. Then I moved on to Chris Lundy. Those, those guys have really been a big influence on what I think surf art is my favorite medium since i was 19 has been oil paints i use them with liquin mostly that's the main medium i prefer it liquin uh, gives them a nice consistency and also they are dry to the touch usually overnight um, i grew up my dad was a oil painter and I grew up smelling them around the house and uh, it just seemed like a natural path for me to go as far as uh, uh, the medium I wanted to use um, was I've never been too big a fan of acrylics I'll use them when I have to but I'm but I like I just like the feel of oil paints better I like how they flow I, I, I like that you have a choice on how fast they dry they I also think they absorb into wood a little bit easier and I, I like to paint on uh, reclaimed wood a lot where do I find inspiration I find it everywhere all the time on a daily basis uh, could be how the light bounces off an object or the shadows that are created by the object could be uh, the way the sun glistens on a wave could be fo uh, some form of a flower or a bird or a conversation. Um, uh, I even find inspiration in uh, my negative emotions and depression. Sometimes I channel that into creativity and then that, that ultimately turns uh, that thing that could be a bad thing into a good thing when is your favorite time of day to create i'd say anywhere between 9 a.m and 11 p.m for things that take a little preparation to start such as oil painting i have to get my brushes ready and uh get my oil paints mixed and um that usually takes a little bit of time so i like a window of of um, I like to have a few hours for that. Um, I don't like it too early because I have my morning routine that I do, um, coffee and such and breakfast and all that. And then too late, I just am too tired. I, I'm not much of a night owl. I found recently that I like to hop on my iPad when um, just for a quick 20 minutes at a time to um, do... Uh, to work in Procreate, and that's that's been a lot of fun in the past few years. What motivates me to create? I think that is um, that question is atta also attached to what inspires me. Um, so much of life makes me want to create. It's cre creation. Creating something for me is this really interesting journey that I don't know what's at the end of it. Um, I'm, I'm, I kind of feel like I'm a person who is always trying to change the variables of how I create so that I stay interested and curious about what I make. And in so doing, there's a lot of frustration and failure but I've also, through the resilience of sticking to a daily 
creating, I see that I can problem solve my way out of mistakes and maybe turn those things into something that somebody may appreciate or want to look at. Particularly making a living at art, that's a very frustrating place to be in where you you make something that you don't <laughs> you don't you can't sell or don't feel like you can sell i think but i think it's important to go to those places and those places are what really keeps me that they they keep me going they keep me they keep me wanting to return to it all the time and also um i'm motivated by a discipline that i um try to stick to which is doing something creative every day um eventually when i don't have to be so busy trying to make money i want to get to where i'm i'm painting or doing something creative 4 hours a day i still have a hard time reaching that goal because i'm running a gallery and um i have a son and there's a lot of odds and ends to life that take up a lot of time um but um yeah is surfing a sport or an art form I think that really comes down to the individual and how they see it. Uh, I know people who would say it's more of a sport than an art, and I also know other people who would say it's more of an art than a sport, and I kind of feel like they're both right. There's uh, an athleticism to it that um, that is very sport-like. And there's a creative aesthetic to it that is very art-like. So I think it is both.